So it's the last light speed quiz of 2015. I'm here about 100 yards away from my own house at uh, Pontefract Sports and Social Club where we have a lucky 13 people gathered to duke it out for, uh, for some wonderful prizes which I may show you later on there, or there on the bar. We're at uh, Sports and Social Club. Uh, there's a few different things about today's quiz in that uh, the point scores are doubled for just about everything. Uh, We've also got specialist subjects rounds. There's going to be 12 rounds today. Each round will contain 25 questions. The first 10 will be a specialist subject chosen by one of our fabulous players. First player we've got is, we have got, Steve Rhodes. All the way from Halifax. Give him a round of applause, please. Also from Halifax, we have got Mark. Give him a round of applause, please. With a flashing light. Debs McDonald! Woo! Top bitch! I never know his folks' surname, Steve Drax! Thank you. All the way from Stockton on Tees. Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough! <laughs> Michael McFarland! Yay! In the lead at the moment, it's Mr. Clive Clifford Cogunny! <laughs> Sam Roberts from Manchester! <laughs> I'm tipping this boat for great things today after the last class of mine. Martin, happy birthday! <laughs> Can I say it? My favourite player of all the players who've played this year, Vince O'Connor! <laughs> At the other end of the spectrum, <laughs> give Chris a nice welcome up north! Uh, we have got a bloke who hasn't been able to play for about four months because he's been busy popping out babies. Give Ashton a nice welcome and round of applause! Mike Lees! Yeah! And finally, 100% Matt Preston! Right! I forgot! Me! on your own scores, you are entirely responsible. Your first specialist subject will be genealogy, as chosen by Vince O'Connor. On these specialist subject questions, I'm going to tell you once, I would expect everybody to get the first one, I'd expect the vast majority to get the second one, down to the last one, I'd expect one of you to get it, if you've really done your homework. So they do, the first ones are actually dollies. Don't say I haven't told you. Genealogy, ten questions. Good luck everybody. What relation to a person is their father's sister? Chris! Aunt. Aunt is correct. Woo oh, next one. By the way, on your own special subject, you do score double. Responsible for a considerable resurgence. Uh, it's Christmas! Ashton. Mormons. No, minus one, I'm afraid, Ashton, but you get a chance to hear this fabulous sound. Okay. <laughs> Uh, responsible for a considerable resurgence in public interest in genealogy, name Alex Haley's account of his... Whoa! <laughs> Michael! Roots. Roots is correct. Zipping up my boots. You are there. Next one is uh, this. Which prominent faith group... <laughs> Ashton! Mormons! Gordon is a Mormon, so Ashton, you're in there. Well done. One of the fastest evolving parts, are you listening, Julia, of the human genome, which chromosome is only passed from father to son? Thank God. Shut up! What? X chromosome? I like X before Chris. Childs. Y. 
across. Because I want to know the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Correct! Next one is Kong Diong is a 77th generation descendant of which Chinese sage and is also oh. Michael McBartlow. Yeah, Confucius is gay. Not Adrian Childs or Nick Barrett. Name any of the three commentators during the first decade of the TV program Who Do You Think You Are? Steve Childs. Jenny Bond? No, Vince. Augustus Adolphus. No, I'm sorry, Whoa. Chris. Yes, Chris. Stop pressing, please, Chris. George Alagaya. No, uh, please. Uh, no, uh, Ashton. Alexander Armstrong. No, Martin. No, Laycock. No, uh, Michael McBartland. Joanna Lumley. No, Preston. Bill Audi. No. Sam. No, they were David Morrissey, Mark Strong, and Sherry Lungy. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Okay, so nobody gets a point there. Oh, lucky. Hey, that was only number six. <laughs> number seven. <laughs> Republican Michael Hastings of Geraldery in New South Wales, population 1100. 11, Chris. Um, heir to the UK throne. You can have two points there. A little round of applause as well. He's heir to the UK throne. Given the questionable uh, ancestry of Henry. Uh, Edward the Fourth. Edward the Fourth was the one. So Chris. Two points. Love it. Uh, in the context of gene genetic genealogy, what does the acronym M R C A represent? Whoa. Most recent common ancestor. Oh, I knew it was common ancestor. <laughs> Uh, next one, most recent common ancestor. Most recent common ancestor, Julia. Yeah, yes. <laughs> biology. <laughs> what word? We're on question nine. These are getting tough now. What word? An anagram of untying a sky on. U n t y i n g a s c i o n. Sky on. It's like Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, you tie a sky on applies to relationship by birth in the same family. Five. Consanguinity. Yeah, consanguinity. You even oh. spelled it. You even said it right. Well done. Two points. Can I would say consanguinity. Five's here. <laughs> so five is here. Five. Check it out. <laughs> He's on minus sixty-three. <laughs> Last one of this. Name the online genealogy forum for Lakeon. Probably Minus one, there's going to be loads of these going here. Uh, McDonald. Find by past. Minus one. Vince. Gen Forum. Roots Chat is part of Gen Forum. Do we accept that? Yes. Yeah. Hands up if you accept that answer. Yes, yeah, we do. So, uh, Roots Chat is good. Thank you very much, Vince. And he gets his four points. So, check this out. Well, I'm leaving now. And. <laughs> <laughs> General knowledge. Oh. And the first one is, uh, I was asked a question last night, I want to know what the answer was. How does a Jedi know what he's going to get for Christmas? Go on. Oh. He can feel the presents. He can feel the presents. <laughs> uh, you, yeah, two points for you, oh, Mark Laycock. <laughs> 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 oh. Check this, let's stop it. Right? Miss Prison. Lady Bracknell, Martin, the importance of being earnest is absolutely the right answer, well done, you're on the board. How many questions are there? 25 altogether, there's 13 more. The old lady of thread needles, Clive. Who wrote the music, the music for the 1889 operetta, The Gondoliers? Chris. Um, Gilbert. W.S. Gilbert. <laughs> Sam. Sullivan. Arthur Sullivan is I did actually Sam. know that. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're on the board. Well done. <laughs> Which French player 
opened the scoring for Everton in the 2000s. McPartland. Sahar. Louis Sahar is a well, great well, answer. Well, well, there you go, Martin. Ma Martin? Who's bloody Martin is at home? <laughs> Florikans, Serimas, Hammercops and Curaçaos are all what type of creature? Lake off. That's Christmas. Not Beatles. Let uh, Chris. Fish. Ashton. <laughs> Come again. Monkeys. <laughs> Would you stop that? Monkeys. <laughs> Not monkeys, no. Uh, who's next? Lees. Birds. Lees, you're on the ball. Oh, oh, yes. yes. oh, it was special birds. Special birds, birds isn't it? It's it always special birds. Yeah. The old hammer cop, it's got to come up there sometimes. Uh, we are starting the buzzers and off we go. Name the capital of the Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. It's called the City of Lakes. It was catapulted to global prominence in 1984. <laughs> Rhodes. Bhopal is correct. The first male centrefold in Cosmopolitan. Preston. Burt Reynolds. He's uh, in. Everybody's uh, on the board. Yeah. Burt Reynolds is correct. Uh, Nice that you know a lot about male centre fold, Matt. Don't <laughs> <laughs> the bottom of this, mate. You can name you the first one. <laughs> founded by Founded by Arthur B. Slay in June I might be Slay or Slee. In June 1855, Chris Evans took over as the editor of which broadsheet in 2014? Chris! It's Christmas! Day. Stop pressing, he's in, two oh, points. How far did he beat me by? I can't quite see. Uh, by uh, three hundredths of a second. Quite a lot, really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> developed in 1921 by Alfred Harner, Harner Munro of Regina, hydraulic fluid may have been incorporated in 1932 by two Brazilian engineers. Jose and Fernando, it doesn't really matter about the rest of the names. What was introduced by General Motors in their 1940 Laycock Servo Bricks? I'm afraid you lose a point, Mark. Fortune favours the brave, but not in that particular instance. Uh, what was introduced by General Motors in the 1940 Oldsmobile Hydromatic? Uh, Chris? Hydraulic suspension. Not hydraulic suspension. Lees? WD 40. McPartland. <laughs> Windscreen wipers. <laughs> Windscreen wipers. Uh, Giles. Automatic gearbox. Yes, automatic transmission. Oh, Three, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Three to go on this. Who wrote the screenplays for Brazil? That lake up. I'm afraid you don't. You're looking going again. Uh, McPartland. Uh, Terry Jones. Not Terry Jones. Sam. Yeah, I was going to say good name. Uh, Cleese. Not Cleese. Ashton. Eric Idle. Uh, no, and that's a minus as well. Who's got the screenplay for Brazil? The Russia House and Shakespeare in Love. And <laughs> Clive. Stop that. Who? Stop her. Yeah, I thought you said Scott Barker then for a minute. <laughs> Tom Stop that, it's correct. Clive. <laughs> You do that so well. I thought Gilliam had written screenplay himself. Two to go. Who's painting landscape colon noon semicolon 1821? Constable. Oh. <laughs> Was renamed the Hayway. So uh, that's where it comes from. Clive, that is just what sets <laughs> this. Just how? I don't know. One on this. Uh, which R.E.M. song from the album Automatic for the People was taken to number one in... Rhodes? Everybody Hurts. Everybody Hurts is two for you. Right, you've got a quick break while...